Hello there, I'm your bro from the programmers and I'm making this video to share my knowledge with you guys. So if you are a software professional who wish to land, who is aspiring to get a job here in Germany, then this video is going to be super helpful to you. In this video, I'm going to explain your entire process of getting a job in the Germany, how you need to prepare, how the interview process, how the recruiting process goes on, what strategies you need to use what mistakes you have to avoid so all those things i'm going to explain in very detailed manner in this video i'm a senior software engineer with uh, almost more than five years of experience working in the it domain and uh, and i have a very good amount of exposure of the german it market and all the information that i am going to share you with you guys in this video it's basically coming from my experience and not just some research that I did using the Google and the internet. Potentially kept uh, empty space on the left side of the frame so that I can use the media and the graphics so that you know it would be easy for you to understand the things and I can explain it more effectively. So uh, this topic itself is uh, really big and uh, you may feel that like it is not a something that we can cover in a one video. So that's why I have divided this entire topic into a subtopics and uh, we are going to talk about that subtopics in each of the time frame each of the span of this video i know like there are going to be a keywords and few things few concepts that are that are completely new to you that you may have not heard before so if you have any questions any queries regarding that use the comment section below and ask me and i'll be more than happy to answer it so let's start with a subtopic number one cv preparation in the germany the cv that works the cv format that works it is called as a euro pass cv so you have to make your cv which is compatible in the euro pass format now what you need to do the, to make the cv impressive that itself is a big topic and uh, due to the scope and the time limit i cannot describe everything in this video but if you need any help regarding that i am very open to help the people on constructing a cv which actually helps them to land a job want to do a review of your cv then uh, just reach out to me on the link so you will find my linkedin profile link on the youtube channel or if you don't just search for the nyaneshwar giri on the linkedin and i'll be there and i guarantee you that the cv that you will get after my review will 100 percent help you to get shortlisted at least for the first round of interview okay so now i have my cv ready what i do to do the job application so to do the job application there are some specific platforms that you have to target on which you have to do a job application so following are the specific job application platform that works really well in the germany first is the linkedin you use a linkedin you can through the linkedin job search you can find out the companies which are hiring in the germany using a job title or your technical skills data keyword you find the job you do a job application directly from a linkedin second is indeed.day this site is actually a very reliable site amongst the recruiter. That's why many of the recruiters, including your small scale startup to a large scale companies, they rely on the Indeed very much. So Indeed is like a global protocol here in Germany where many recruiters use it to find the right talent. So Indeed performs really well in the Germany. There are a few others which are still booming up, which are like a stepstone.day. Uh, then you have the Moberries on which usually you will find most of the startup companies a small scale companies they post their job on this platform and on it you can find the multiple listings of the job that you can use and uh, you can do an application from these sites so okay once you have done an application when you get your first call there is a time of two weeks it takes then you get your first get to know call so the way the recruiting process works in the Germany is you have a get to know call first where you have a video call with your future team lead or with the HR where they talk about your background, your skills, what exactly candidate they are looking for and whether you really fits into or not. Now, since I touched this topic of the uh, recruiting process, so let me give you a brief about the entire recruiting process. So it consists of the get to know call where it is usually your first call in 90 percent of the cases you will have the get to know call and uh, where you will talk about who you are what is your skill what background you come from with the hr or maybe your technical team and if you are able to make through this round then you will get an invitation for the second round which is the technical round now the way the technical rounds are conducted is totally unique here in germany it's not you know a one 
face to face call where you get a technical questions and you have to answer in some cases it can be but uh, from my experience, I can tell you that in almost 80 to 90 percent of the cases, you get a technical challenge. So you get a technical challenge to work on and the technical challenge itself is a really tough. It is not that easy. I mean, come on, you imagine that the, this company is hiring a someone, a candidate from some another region. They had to ensure that the candidate they are recruiting, they are hiring really has that skill and that capability and uh, he or she really comes from that background so that you know this candidate is going to be perfect fit into their team when it is really part of their project so the technical challenges are really difficult and tough and uh, usually when you are being assigned that technical challenges you get a time of like one week or one and a half week so i suggest try to ensure to keep the time that you get for the technical challenges as low as possible because you know the less time you get and the quicker you deliver, it increases your chances of getting shortlisted for the next round. And that's how you perform better than your competitors are along with you applying for that role. So after getting a technical challenge, you have to complete that technical challenge. And usually in the next round, you present how you solve that technical challenge. And there is a really obvious thing. If you are able to submit that technical challenge successfully, then you will get an invitation for the further round where in that round you basically present your technical challenge and uh, there you explain like why you approach in this way what were the your way of thinking for solving this problem what algorithm you use what could have been a better approach or what is your approach expect some situational questions like how you can optimize this thing try to be as clean as there in terms of the coding standards and the practices write the test cases for all the things that you are doing and try to show that as a developer you are aware of the coding standards and you follow the good practices and you want your code to be more maintainable more reliable so so approach the coding challenge implementation considering all this factor in your mind okay so what happens if you have successfully delivered the presentation of the technical rounds and the you get an invitation for the next round which is basically a cultural fit or the cultural assessment okay. so in that round your future team basically try to assess like how you are as a person how are your soft skill what are your interpersonal skills maybe if they hire this candidate if they hire you how well you are going to fit into a team are you really there up to the mark in terms of the soft skills all those things about you are going to be evaluated in this cultural fit assessment round uh, if you have nailed this cultural fit assessment then congratulations you almost made to the final round or uh, just in general discussion with the ceo or the cto of the company where you get to discuss like what uh, what is your background what is your vision what you liked about this employer and why you are applying and what ex what why you applied and what exactly you are looking in this job so all those things you get a chance you get a platform to discuss with the ceo or the cto you have to be very frank here you have to be very honest about your goal what you liked about the employer and uh, what do you really think that together you and the employer can achieve and how it so having a discussion with the ceo or the cto this is usually a last step in the recruiting process so after this if you have managed to present yourself well and the employer really liked about your then congratulations you get an offer at this point so there are no more rounds after this and after getting your offer uh, maybe you can have a discussion with the hr about the package that is being offered and it's just a discussion about whether you are okay with that package or not and uh, you may use this opportunity to negotiate if you want to so once you get an offer a real hustle start after this point so after getting an offer you have to apply for the visa so that you know you can legally work in a germany so applying for a visa it depends on a country where you are uh, there are few countries like the us japan new zealand and the european countries where you don't need any visa you can basically enter into germany just on the proof of your passport which are allied country to germany uh, and those which are not allied they are called as a third country and the people coming from these third countries are called as a third country nationals so if you belong to this third country nationals group you have to apply for a visa and applying for a visa itself is a process that i have explained in very detail in the series of this video so if you are interested you can watch this series and it will help you to gain uh, understanding on how visa process work and what are the documents that you need to handle 
So talking about the documents, what document you really need, you just need an offer letter and there is one important document called as an employment declaration. There is the German version of it that I have put here so you can read it. Uh, of your employer and the stamp of the employer on this document and of course there is the important information in this document of employment declaration that you have to get filled from employer and uh, that you basically use to submit uh, for your visa process okay so once you have the document submitted and your visa ready then you fly to a germany you land here and uh, then you have to settle in a germany so settling in a germany is itself is a quite challenging what it is quite challenging task germany is currently going under the inflation and uh, germany has a real crisis of houses so finding apartment in germany is a uh, really difficult i mean if you ask me finding a job at some extent is uh, easy than the finding a uh, apartment so it is a uh, quite a struggle but if you have decided to make it you will make it now i'm going to talk about my experience so uh this is my personal experience i mean it is not you know and it is not a set of strategy that are always going to work but i feel that the way i did my preparation and the strategy i used to you know uh to be a successful in this process so in my case basically i was learning a german for one and a half year back in my native place but uh, since considering my experience in the software engineering and the project i did and my background the employer were really impressed about the skills and the talent i have and that point i realized that okay now i am at a stage where i have a quite good amount of experience and the skills with me and uh, i'll just revisit my plan and thought do i really need to go for the masters and spend some time studying so long story short i was learning a german for one and a half year and uh, that's where i developed an interest and uh, i did a quite research on the german job market how recruiting works how it companies uh, perform the hiring and uh, that's where i got to know about it i got quite good amount of responses for my profile and uh, i also use these responses and this opportunity to uh, prepare myself so even though i used to attend some job interviews which are not relevant to my profile i personally have my interest into a front end but i used to attend some interviews which are related to the data science or the data analyst role so there my intention was not to crack the interview process to, but just to get the experience so this is just a strategy that i use but as i'm saying it can be a mistake uh, but it depends on you how you how you want to do it so everyone has their own way of doing the things and the second thing I would say is really about your hard work and your skills. And if you don't have an appropriate background or you have not worked on a project that are really challenging, it's going to be tough for you to, you know, be a deserving candidate. Uh, ultimately, there is no hack or the no cheat. If you deserve something, you will get it. If you don't, then no matter how you try to fake it, you won't get it. It is as simple as that. Work on the project that you can really showcase work on the project that are large scale that solves a real problem uh, learn the framework stay up to date with it and uh, it's a endless continuous learning process basically i cannot uh, scope it and limit to you you know i cannot make a list and say that you do these things and so there is a really good website which is here on this website you will find some interviews which are recorded and they are actual interviews by seeing the actual videos about the technical interviews on this site so i recommend you go through this so that you will get an understanding about the technical interview um, so professionally what has to be your eligibility so i would say that you need to have bachelor of engineering or the mathematics or at least some engineering degree in your educational background to apply for the job uh, most of the companies prefer the candidate who has uh, more than three years of experience and in Germany, if you are applying for any job, uh, if you have education qualification, which is recognized by the German standard. So there is a site called anabin.day, anabin that you can use. And on that site, you can get a list of universities, which are basically recognized by the German university. And if your educational qualification falls under this university or the specific scores, then Congratulation, you have the higher chances of, of getting recruited into a, into a German companies. So with that, I will end this video. I know there are going to be a lot of questions because the topic itself is a too big. 
uh, and I touch the each of the subtopic at some depth, but I know definitely there are going to be a queries on it. So I recommend again to use the comment section below or reach out to me on my LinkedIn profile and uh, I will be able to help you in a personalized manner. If you like this video, show support by subscribing to my channel so that it will keep me motivated to make a more such a relevant content for the right audience. And thank you for watching this video.